In this video, we're going to be solving two problems involving uncertainties. The first tells us that the edges of a rectangular desk are measured to be 81 plus or minus 1 centimeter and 144 plus or minus 1 centimeter. We need to find the uncertainty in the perimeter and the area of the desk. In order to solve this, uh, this problem, we're going to need to figure out an equation for the area and the perimeter of the desk. So I'm going to sketch a picture of our desk. It's going to have side lengths L1 and L2. Now let's solve the perimeter problem first because, well, because it asks, asks us to solve it first. So first of all, we want to find the uncertainty in the perimeter. In order to do that, we need a formula for perimeter. Perimeter is just what we do when we add up all the side lengths. So our perimeter is going to be L1 plus L2 plus L1 again for the opposite side plus L2 again. And from this equation, we can see that we have uh, our, our perimeter is the sum of all of these measurements. So we can use our uncertainty sum formula to figure this one out. Our uncertainty sum formula says that if we have some function z, and z is equal to a plus or minus b, then the uncertainty in z is equal to the uncertainty in a plus the uncertainty in b. This function form matches our function for perimeter. Um, so we can write an equation for the uncertainty in our perimeter. Whoops, I do not want word opening up. The uncertainty in our perimeter, P, delta P, is just going to be the uncertainty in L1 plus the uncertainty in L2 plus the uncertainty in L1 again plus the uncertainty in L2 again. And from our raw measurements, we had L1 was 81 plus or minus 1 centimeter and 144 plus or minus 1 centimeter. All of our delta Ls are 1 centimeters. So our total uncertainty is going to be, uh, well, another way to write it would be 2 delta L1 plus 2 delta L2 which gives us a delta P of 2 times 1 centimeter plus 2 times 1 centimeter, which is equal to 4 centimeters. And that's our uncertainty in the perimeter. Next up, we need to find the uncertainty in the area of the desk. I'm going to scroll down a little bit for that. Uh, we already actually have a formula for area, or you should know the formula for area is going to be area of the desk is equal to, since it's a rectangle, base times height, or L1, times L2. Since this function is the product of two input variables, we have to use the, uh, the product rule for uncertainties, and that tells us for some function z is equal to a, b over c. The, un the percent uncertainty in z, or the relative uncertainty in z, is equal to the relative uncertainty in a, plus the relative uncertainty in b, plus the relative uncertainty in c. We have this. It's just that c is 1, and our uncertainty in c is zero. Uh, so we can write an expression for the uncertainty in our area. And it's going to be delta A over A is equal to delta L1 over L1 plus delta L2 over L2. Now we can just uh, plug in our numbers. Delta L1 over L1 is going to be 1 over 81 centimeters. And that gives us a 1.2 percent uncertainty 
plus delta L2 over L2 is 1 over, let's check our values up here, 144, which gives us a 0.7% uncertainty. So then our delta A over A is just equal to 1.2 plus 0.7. which is equal to 1.9, 1.9%. Now that gives us the percent uncertainty in A. To get the raw uncertainty in A, delta A, we just need to multiply, or rewrite this equation, move A to the other side, we get A times 1.9%. And A is just the area of our desk. So we actually can calculate that. Area is going to be L1 times L2 times 1.9 percent. L1 is 81 centimeters times 144 centimeters, all times 1.9 percent, which gives us a delta A equal to 81 times 144 is 1.17 uh, times 10 to the 4 times 1.9 percent gives us a raw uncertainty of 2.2 2 times 10 to the 2 centimeters squared. So depending on what, whether we're looking for percent or raw uncertainty, we'll either use that 2.2 .2 times 10 to the 2 or the 1.9%. In this case, we found both.